you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Springtime is fast approaching. What we want to talk to you guys about today is a variety of reaction baits to focus your time on in the spring. We've already talked in depth about A-Rigs and about how that is a transitional bait that's going to open the door for you to throw a lot of other things. Now some of these baits we've already done in-depth videos on, some of them they're still coming. We'll get you a lot more knowledge on each individual category, but today we're going to run you through some of our favorite reaction baits for the springtime. Yeah, absolutely. Springtime is one of your best, best shots at sticking your new PB and uh, really it kind of opens up. You get that warmer weather, uh, the fish are more, more active. It really opens up, it expands uh, the tackle, your tackle box, the things that you can use. So today we're gonna talk about five or six different categories of baits that'll put fish in the boat for you. And uh, first bait I'm gonna talk about is a lipless crankbait. You guys know that we love them, I love them, um, and big fish love them. <laughs> so um, right off the bat, the LV500, three quarter ounce bait. It's a bait that you can fish fairly quickly. You can find those schooled up fish and uh, yeah, those, those pre-spawn fish, those, those big girls that are staging just out off a little bit deeper edges and uh, really put the hurt into them. So, you know, we're not gonna get too in depth with the specific baits. We've shot in-depth videos for mo almost all these categories. So uh, we'll leave links up in, up in the top and down below in the video description uh, for all the baits that we use in each category. And we'll link to some in-depth videos for each category. Yeah. We'll give you specific bait choices, you know, two or three for each one. Um, second one I'm gonna talk about is just the A-Rig. We've already talked about the A-Rig, but it needs to be touched on again. This is the transitional bait, the one that helps you find that reaction bite, but it is also a phenomenal bait to continue throwing all the way through the spring. You want to, ex you want to experiment with bladed and non-bladed, a standard rig with just bare baits versus having spinnerbait blades on it. You also want to experiment with how many wires. 5 wire, 7 wire, 8 wire. There are a lot of options out there that will change the overall size of the school that you are presenting. And on some days that smaller, more compact rig will work. Other days that big bulky rig. Other days the flash. Other days the natural. So you really want to play with some A-rig options to fine tune that pattern. We'll give you all that too. Yeah, just like any category, you can dive Go down as far down into that rabbit hole as you want to. The, right. the A-Rig is its own beast, you know, like he talked about with the blades. What color blades? You want gold, uh, silver, those sort of things um, you want to pay attention to. Let's talk glide baits. You guys know we've preached on this bait for years, the River to Sea uh, S-Waver 168. Uh, it's it's just a must in every tackle box. It's, it's <laughs> fairly inexpensive in that category, the glide bait category. You know, you can spend four, five, six hundred dollars on, on baits if you want but you don't need to, especially if you're getting just getting started out. Anybody can afford this bait right here, and this has put some giant fish in the boat. Um, depending on your fishery, you can you can size up and go with a bigger glide bait. Uh, why don't you talk about that? I know you stuck some giants on that. Yeah, so this is the bait sanity, and we've talked about that before. Uh, phenomenal bait. The difference here is just size, right? This is the S-Waver 168 versus that bigger bait. Both are very, very effective. The 168 works everywhere. We catch spots, smallmouth, largemouth, giant largemouth. But when they are on bigger bait, when they're running bigger bait, going to a bigger bait is a really good option. This is one of the ones that we throw, got a lot of confidence in it, smashed some giants on it. Uh, but it's also, for the size, very reasonably priced. And that's one of the reasons that we latched onto it. You guys know that we recommend a lot of baits. We always try to find baits that for their category are reasonably priced and are widely available because it does no good to tell you to go get a bait that you can't get. So we try to find baits that work extremely well and are available. Uh, and that is a great choice for sticking giants in the springtime. Yeah, we've recommended other baits, the Grand, the Gan Crafts, the 230s and stuff, but in this price point, like 60 bucks, right around there, there's not a a bait that's that size that's widely available so uh, and, and, works and swims way. swims right. swims really well uh next one i'm going to talk about is the spinner bait if your fish start moving up they get up on the bank if you get murky water if the fish get deep in the cover they get in the dock pilings they get in the brush up tight to shore nothing is going to outshine a spinner bait and the spinner bait's one of those funny baits because depending on where you are in the country some people are all about it and some people hate it 
but everybody should understand how to fish it, how to fish it effectively in and around cover, especially in spring, because there is that short window when those biggest fish need to move shallow to spawn. A spinnerbait draws a pure reaction, especially when it's in cover, banging into things, ticking and moving and flashing. It's just different than a lot of your other options, and it will get those big, big fish to go when some of the other baits won't or can't even get into where those fish are. So do not neglect a spinnerbait in the springtime, even if you're typically on a clear water fishery. When they make that move up, you need to try it. Yeah, a few things on the spinnerbait. You know, if, you're, if your body of water has moving water, get right up in that current. We've, we've shot videos in the past. When this it's springtime, the water's coming up, the, the rivers are rushing, the lake's coming up. Those fish are gonna pull up into that moving water. And that spinnerbait, it's fairly weedless. You can get right up there and burn that stuff through the current and it's money. I'm gonna talk about the square bill. <clears throat> yeah, same, you're gonna fish it the same type of, in the same type of stuff you're gonna fish a spinnerbait in. It's not gonna be as weedless as a spinnerbait, but uh, you can throw baits with rattles in them. You can throw them silent. Typically, if you're, you're fishing dirty water, you're going to want to throw a bait with, uh, with a knocker in it or some type of rattle in it. Um, but uh, a square bill is a great, great bait to throw. You know, the water's coming up. You got grass that's being submerged, willow trees, all your stuff that's been, been out of the water for a little while. Now you get up on the bank, you just burn bank, cover water, and a square bill is a great bait to do that with. Yeah. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about the jerk bait. Talked about it before, shot a ton of underwater footage with it for you guys. But the power of a jerk bait, I mean, we try to drive it home every time, the power of a jerk bait. It draws a core reaction out of fish. And springtime, again, when fish move up, we keep saying that, when fish move up, it's important to understand that a lot of the year, some of these fish in your lakes are not really available to you. Unless you're very good at catching suspended fish or offshore fish, or you have great electronics, some of the fish will literally leave the areas you fish. But in springtime, that's when they're all there and they're grouped up and there's the highest number of fish in a given area. And that is when reaction baits shine. That's when, when there's a high concentration of fish, if you can trigger them and fire up the entire school, because there are so many of them in small areas, you can really get them to act aggressive when they wouldn't later in the year, when they're out by themselves, they wouldn't get that aggressive. The jerk bait is another one of those baits that is very, very good at triggering those fish. You only need one of them to bite. You're not trying to get every fish in a school to bite. If you can get the smallest fish in the school, the fish that's the least intelligent of the whole lot to eat that jerk bait and get revved up, it gets the school going. Then you catch another one and another one and pretty soon the biggest fish in the school will start biting on a regular size bait on normal bass tackle. You're not throwing a $500 lure. You're throwing a little jerk bait, catching the biggest fish in the school that wouldn't bite another time of year. Yeah, springtime, to close it up guys, springtime is a great time to get out on the water. Yeah, you shore fishermen, you kayak fishermen, uh, the fish are coming to you, right? They're coming to the right. shore. So this is where you guys can sit there and, and sneak up on it and pick them off. Uh, you don't need a, a, a 20 foot bass boat to get out and have fun in the springtime. But uh, again, guys, all the baits that we're going to talk about in each category will be linked down below for you guys. If you guys have any questions down below in the comment section, hit us up with those comments or those questions and we'll, we'll try and get to those. But again, as always, we appreciate your guys' support. If you guys like the, uh, the video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Thank you, guys.